morning for you this morning. One thing we are known for here in the Carolinas is barbecue and Southern Living agrees. Eight South Carolina barbecue restaurants recently were named best in the South. The Palmetto State tied with North Carolina for most restaurants on the list. And the barbecue joints are chosen by Southern Living contributing barbecue editor Robert Moss. And you can find the full list on FoxCarolina.com. Well, over in downtown Greenville, the Cream Shack is closing up shop. The ice cream shop was best known for its unique combination of rolled ice cream. While the store did not go into detail, the owner says it will be selling the restaurant equipment and other assets. Time check this morning coming up on 923. Here's a story that's sure to cure your morning sweet tooth. Soon you'll be able to indulge in authentic French pastries without ever leaving the upstate. Oh, I love that. Our Fox Carolina's Christy Waite. She joins us now in the studio. And Christy, what makes this new bakery so special? Well, he's known as the bread guy and the mission of his new bakery in Boiling Springs is to bake the world a better place. One pastry at a time. Take a look. I graduated with two degrees. I have a degree in bread baking and then a degree in desserts and pastries. I use all natural ingredients, um, no preservatives. I make everything by hand. Meet Nick Durs, a French native who perfected his craft in France. And soon you'll be able to taste his creations at his new bakery called The Bread Guy. I can expect an authentic uh, French vibe. I make classic uh, French fruit tarts, lemon meringues. Um, I make cakes. I make all types of breads, some Italian breads like focaccia and ciabatta, um, and then all the pastries, of course. If you've ever been traveled to France or Europe, you can expect that this is going to be the closest thing you can get without having to buy a plane ticket. For Nick, baking is more than a job. It's a form of therapy. I started not feeling well. I got diagnosed with stage 3 kidney disease about three months ago. And working with yeast and sourdoughs and watching it kind of come alive and being alive and working with it. It's almost therapeutic in a, in a sense. He specializes in croissants, an art that is hard to master. After years of doing it, it's, it's a love-hate kind of thing. I, I'm still trying to perfect it. The key is using a good butter with a high fat, fat content and working with the butter where it's soft but not too hot where it melts. And while he doesn't always feel his best, he's thankful for the community's support. It makes me feel good and it lets me know that I'm in the right place and I'm doing the right thing. Serving up smiles, one croissant at a time. I mean, it's also very rewarding when you see people buying your products, eating it. There's a lot of kids, and they'll have chocolate croissants as big as their face, and they're just, you know, you can see how happy they are, and that's just very rewarding. What an incredible talent and tasty talent to have at that. The bread guy will be opening on Parse Bridge Road in Boiling Springs. Nick says he hopes to be open by the end of the month. Reporting, Christy Waite, Fox Carolina News. All right, Christy, we thank you so much. Yes, and that sounds amazing mm -hmm. and delicious.